Hi guys, Hyperlev here, the Norwegian gamer. Um, I'm just going to bring you a really quick update on the, um, the play cloth situation, if you want to call it that. Um, a few videos ago, I um, talked about play cloth, my recording software of choice. And one of uh, my complaints with play cloth was that it has a, uh, it has an act of producing really large video files they're like many times bigger than uh, fraps uh, uh, video files and I thought well, that was kind of a downside of the whole application it really is but after experimenting around a little bit with the compression um, options that play claw has because you can choose whether you want it just to be no compression a low compression or a high compression when you record the uh, video. And up until this point, I have always used no compression because I don't want any, uh, well, I don't want any uh, loss of quality in my recordings. But what I did, I um, recorded some gameplay in all three modes, and I found that the um, low compression mode actually gives a video file that's under half the size with no noticeable. Uh, compression artifacts or loss of quality. A uh, note that I could notice, and I'm not a scientist at this point uh, at any of this, but I looked at it and I tried to look for places where I would usually find uh, compression artifacts or loss of quality, like in the small details, darker points, and stuff like that. And I can't say I really found any that were really. I can't say I found any really. <laughs> That's the point. Um. With the low compression, however, however, there actually was a change. However, it was not in the quality of the video itself, and it was certainly not in the in compression artifacts. The thing is that with the low compression, uh, I mean high compression choice, I actually ended up getting videos with a lot better contrast, or the color was a lot better than before. Um, to put it in, to put it one way, the grasses was greener, and the colors were much more vibrant and colorful and more enjoyable, if you want. So I, I was kind of surprised because I almost thought went out of this thinking, "Wow, the compressed version of this video file, the high compression one, is actually looking better than the no compression one," and Let's face it, Call of Duty Black Ops, which I did the uh, recording tests in, is not the most vibrant looking game. I, I mean, it, the colors are kind of, uh, kind of um, dull, to put it that way. You know, there's not a lot of, uh, they all kind of mush together. But with the low compression, the game looked a lot better than it did before. So, <laughs> I was just really impressed by the, <laughs> the results of the compression, or play Klaus compression artifacts, to put it that way. So, overall, I was really impressed with what Playclaw did, and I've started recording Playclaw with Playclaw on the uh, high compression mode, just for that reason. So, my only serious gripe with Playclaw has gone. Um, the only downside with the compression uh, compression mode set to uh, low or high is, of course, the increase of CPU cycles Playclaw uses because now it only oh it doesn't only have to <coughs> sorry uh, save the video file to the hard drive, but it also has to do on the fly compression of it. And the higher compression you put on it, the higher, the more CPU cycles Playclaw will steal. But with the trade-off of the video file, that's only one tenth in size, and with a lot more vibrant colors, I believe it to be a small trade-off. So the video is coming to an end, and I um, hope to see you next time. Snuckis.